Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today's episode number 179. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Class C World Championship. Uh, just a little status update. We are 96.81% completed of Motorsport 3. And in terms of the entire Mega Series, technically 20.51, but that number is really skewed out. Like, because as soon as we do Motorsport 5, that number's going to go up really slowly. But as soon as we do any of the Horizon games, that number goes up really quick. So, uh, my actual completion number, I think, is a little bit broken. But uh, technically, 20% of all the events are done. So, but we are 96% done with um motorsport 3 and that is 100 percent correct <laughs> um we're going to be taking the honda s2000 starting off with sebring second to catalonia sedona silverstone and then finishing off with suzuka let's get going oh that's a good sounding engine and off we go no actual go-kart tracks but still has go-karts yeah exactly it's confusing as fuck. Gran Turismo, fix it now. Silverstone actually has a pretty good go kart slash small car track. Obviously, the Stow Circuit. Is it the Stow Circuit? Is that what it's called? It's a little circuit. It's a pretty fucking good circuit. Oh, it's currently raining. I might have to close my window in a minute. It's just started chucking it down outside. Well, it's midnight. midnight time. Got a fist full of whiskey. The bottle just bit me. Oh, that shit makes me bad shit crazy. I love this song. My English speaking and listening thingy. Uh, when I did English speaking and listening, uh, mine was brilliant. Because for some reason, English speaking and listening is just about doing a presentation. And it's really weird. So I did my presentation about Xbox and PlayStation. <laughs> and then, then I did a, a fake uh, Windows crash screen. <laughs> Like, I genuinely, I, I sat there, right, and pissed about with presentation for about an hour, doing a fake, um, as soon as I pressed next, it would then automate a fake Windows crash, and then I just pretended the computer crashed. <laughs> and then the slide after that was like, hat got you. to walk to work in that rain yesterday got so I um I don't know whether it was yesterday or the day before I want to say it was the day before absolutely chucked it down and my trousers went from a light brown color because obviously the colored brown I didn't shit myself <laughs> that's such a great light I didn't shit myself uh to a dark brown because they were soaked through and through and the problem is those were the ones that I was wearing for work which meant I ended up just fucked. Long story short. They managed to sort of dry up by the time I got ready. But they were soaking. Last call my ass. Oh my gosh, that's actually really heavy, that rain. Hi. Hi. I 
That's the look of this car. It's beautiful. Yo, I might try and find an S2000 as my first car. Tech baby. Do they still do VTEC engines? Or have they stopped doing VTEC in Honda engines now? Because I think VTEC is the coolest thing in the world. and pollution. Please mention that electric cars are less economical than petrol cars. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Anyone that says running a um What's it called? An electric car is better for the environment. They're delusional as fuck and they need to be put down. <laughs> that, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> <coughs> oh. But yeah, electric cars are not more economical than petrol. The problem is, right, the amount of like emissions that it takes for your electric car to actually be made you'd have to run it for about five years for it to sort of be equivalent to a petrol car now the battery in your electric car is only gonna last you about five years before it starts dying so by the time you then get that replaced it's also gonna cost you a lot of money but on top of that, you're now replacing a battery with another one that adds more time. So in theory, you'd have to have your electric car for about 10 years before it actually starts equaling itself out. Or what most people do after about five years, they get themselves a new car, but then it's the same cycle over again. So realistically speaking, it doesn't matter what car you're running. Because you're still just as bad for the environment. Because remember, the vehicles that make your electric cars are running off of petrol. And on top of that, the electricity that is used, or the way that the electricity is made, that goes into your car is done by petrol or natural gases or stuff like that which again not much better for the environment so yes an electric car technically is better for the environment on paper it still isn't any better that 
It's more to wipe the smug fart smile off of people's faces when they're like, Oh, look, I've got an electric car. I'm so good for the environment. No, you're not. No, you're not. You may think that, but you're not. Just because they had a green leaf in the promotional video doesn't mean it's economical. That's not how economical works. Imagine if that did work, though. Just to add a green leaf to something and instantly it's more appealing. I love this song. Ultra Funk by Metric and Friction. Seventeen grand, which is nice. <laughs> right, I got metric on the playlist now. Set yourself free. I also need to drive a tab better. Come on, Subaru. Fucking arsehole. Drive properly, you prick. <laughs> Strong coming from me. Get out the wee lad. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying the stream, feel free to drop a like. It really does help the stream out. And uh, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. We got a lot of Forza content coming up. So if you're a fan of Forza, you're going to be a fan of my channel. Here we go. I'm hoping that once I get um, this new capture card, I'm going to have little to no delay with the video. Uh, and on top of that, hopefully the micro stutters that I keep getting will be completely ironed out. And also I can then record in 4K. That's also probably more important as well. But I'm not going to be recording 4K until 
I think Horizon 1 runs in 4K. But once it gets around to that, I'll also have a Series X as well. Unless they announce a new series console, in which case I might get that one. Good sound, I love it. Special feature for the metric. <laughs> I love that. So somehow you can play Guitar Hero. Well, you're definitely playing on the easiest difficulty then. Because there's no way you're playing on Expert with that. Do you know what? Now that I've got my PS5 here as well, um, I think I might do a wipeout stream. I'll reset my save, and I think I'm going to do a wipeout stream. Why does it say chat rate 7? Nobody sent seven messages. Don't know. Unless they got picked up by Automod, maybe. What oh, shit? One hundred. I can see the one hundred. Whoever spamming that. <laughs> Just had two chicken wraps, the whole meal, and I'm actually so full. That's not too bad, actually. Internationally, worldwide, all over. Need some actual statistics on the electric car stuff. 
crash. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Hackers. This is hackers. I think. Yes! Mech drip is crazy. Mech is dripping right now. Uh, oh, actually, where the fuck is it? I normally had have a chain on, but I don't have my... I don't have my chain on. Oh, good. I to find it. Once I get the chain on, it's fucking... Yeah. Drip. How are you doing, nothing but cars? Hopefully you're having a good day. Bow. Bow, bow, bow. Alright, let's go! Okay, let's go. <laughs> right, I'll take my rewards. Thank you very much. Alright, not bad. Let's go. <laughs> Wheel spin, bitch! YouTube, shut up. I don't care that the stream's current bitrate is higher than what you want. I want it at this bitrate because it looks good. You do it any lower and you start getting artifacts. For some reason, YouTube recommends for 1080p, 60 frames a second, they recommend 4,000 kilobits a second on the studio. Right, I've obviously looked at other websites and they all recommend around about 12,000. So I chose 15,000. Because that way it means that it's as smooth as possible. And if, say, the bitrate drops or goes up, the quality doesn't drop. So, and obviously if y your internet's worse, then worse is a new word. Don't question it. Obviously if your internet's worse, you just drop down the quality. That again is a great reason why YouTube is better than Twitch because Twitch's quality options are dog shit. You're basically stuck with either like 240p or whatever the stream is. And if you lower the quality, it just, all the quality has gone. At least YouTube maintains quite a bit of quality even if you turn the resolution down. It doesn't do that on other platform, like Twitch. I haven't tested Kickout at all yet, but I don't think it'll bother. Like, I'm really enjoying streaming on YouTube. Why would I bother trying to screw that up to stream on Kick as well? What even in the fuck was that? And even if I was going to, like, multi-platform stream, I'd only focus on one chat. I don't think I'd go out my way to have two chats loaded. Because it would just be a hassle, to be honest, to try and focus and chat with two chats. Just need to slide where everyone else questions. Just say <laughs> any questions and then skip to the next one saying, okay, bye, very quickly. Then you don't have to answer questions. Problem solved. questions? Nope. Bye. Ladies.
Bam 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 It's a good song. Tantrum Desire makes some pretty good drum and bass tracks. I'm tempted to put block party on here. Alright, genuinely, I've just been vibing to block party and stop. Right, we've got one more lap. So yeah, I think I'll get this done and then the B-Class World Championship as well. Uh, I'm not sure how much further I'll get, whether I'll get A-Class done as well. But uh, I believe this C-Class one is the last one that I'm doing as one entire episode for the championship. Because the next one's got six races and I think that would be split into uh, two videos. Second place is not that far behind. Play games, go play games with my heart. Oh yeah. All right, there we go. That's that done, 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 and dusted. Take that result. Thank you very much. All right, let's go. I love the Honda. It's a beauty. So in fact, the presentation with trying to load the presentation, their computer becomes your computer. <laughs> Damn. This property is now mine. You must give me a nine before I unlock it. Oh yeah, ain't no one left. 
Yes, I'm blocking other cars. I don't care. Ayo, 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 ayo. Ayo, lad. Ayo. Ayo, 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 ayo. Alright, nice. Three more laps to go. And then we got Suzuka, and then that is us done with this championship. Take me higher. Feeling for your power. Turn the music louder. Let me be like ooh. Oh, shit. So yeah, the plan is for the next couple weeks to actually get some extra content. Uh, only because when it comes to September, I don't know if I've announced this, but September to December, I'm going to be doing double uploads. Only because I want Forza Motorsport 4 to be finished by the end of this year. Because once Motorsport 4 is finished, then I'll be back on track. And I'll be able to continue the Mega Series, get onto Horizon fairly soon. Which, by the way, I need to speak to Crude. See if he knows anyone that's got the Rally DLC for Horizon. Oh shit, I forgot. I need to do individual thumbnails for each of the DLCs as well. Because I want slightly different style thumbnails for the Forza DLCs. What is a super chat thingy? So super chat basically means that it's a donation button basically, but it's all done through YouTube rather than um, third party platforms. Uh, membership is like a subscription, so you pay money, you get stuff from it. Super chat is just, here, take my money. Um, it's basically just donations. Uh, you can do super chats or you can do super stickers. Um, the stickers is basically just like an emoji with money attached to it. Uh, whereas the super chat lets you do like a highlighted message kind of thing. Uh, there's also another version of super chats um, called super thanks, uh, which is only available for YouTube videos. Uh, so, because obviously with live streams, you can obviously do your super chat and it gives you the message. You do the super thanks, it does the sticker. Uh, you do the super stickers, it does a sticker. And then the super thanks is there solely for YouTube videos, so that in comments, you can do a similar thing as well. Um, so even if I'm not live, you can still do that, which is crazy. Yeah, it's pretty good. I've seen quite a few um, videos that have like super thanks underneath, which. It's really good for content creators, especially when uh, people can just 
show their support just like that. Press a button, done. This is a great song. I love this. XYZ by Dead Mouse. It's one of my favorite Dead Mouse songs out there. Oh yeah, so you know how we were talking about like artists that died out and we mentioned Pendulum? Um, there's a show going on for Pendulum soon. Uh, it's, I believe it's the 13th of August. Uh, it's in London. The tickets are actually surprisingly cheap. And I really want to go. I want to go see Pendulum. Because I've always wanted to go see Pendulum. But. There's a slight issue with that. How the fuck did I manage that? Okay. Lovely. Pendulum just keep making the same shit. Never changing. And also got overplayed. No. I'd have to disagree. Because Pendulum do variations on their style. I mean, when you look at drum and bass, drum and bass has a very repetitive, sort of very similar style to everyone else anyways. But the difference is Pendulum made drum and bass popular in the mainstream. Um, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Pendulum themselves, in terms of I love live band drum and bass style, which is why I love Pendulum, The Chemists as well, a band that I listen to, because they're live style drum and bass, like it's bands rather than just computerized stuff. I very much love that style of drum and bass. Um, obviously, Pendulum is the t it pretty much could not be beat for years. They made so many good songs. Um, I'd love to see them live. I just, I just want to see them live, basically. But obviously, it's so expensive. It's like the tickets are cheap, but it's transport, and actually, the fact that I'd have to stay overnight in London, like fuck in hell. Do 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 do. Do do bam 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 Nice. Bam 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 bam. people to meet in London, so I can't. Fair enough. Do do. I still gotta go over like details and work shit out first, so. Because it might be the off chance that I go with someone else. And I don't just go on my own. So at that point, I will probably just book a hotel. There's all sorts of shit I've got to figure out for it. How the hell do people... Like, I, I get why people go to, like, travel agents and get them to book their travel. Because just looking for tickets to go to a concert seems nightmare enough as it is. Imagine trying to do that, but for a different country. It'd be hell. As long as I get petrol covered. I mean, that's fair enough.
Nice. Presentation done. Whoop whoop. This stream's actually gone really well. So, thank you everyone that has uh, joined the stream today because it's been it's been awesome. And if you guys do want to help support the stream, feel free to uh, drop a like. Whoa! <laughs> no idea how I'm going to present it, but I'll figure it out. Philosophy. A freak like me just needs infinity. Do, do, do. Joke's on you, I already liked. Joke's on you! Have you shared it, though? <laughs> nah, I'm, j I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> your time to trust in me come on beep beep uh, you tip Sharon is not caring. <laughs> Sharon is 100% caring. I'll have you know. So naturally... I do need to look at getting something to eat, to be fair. Do you know, I, I really want to just have a, like just say fuck it and just cook an entire thing of fucking mozzarella sticks because I love mozzarella sticks they are the best things in the world whoever decided right we're going to invent cheese was a genius but then whoever decided right we're going to take this specific extremely tasty type of cheese we're going to roll it in egg and breadcrumbs and then we're going to fry it so that it goes soft on the inside but crispy on the outside was even more a genius because oh my god they're so good Let's dip it with salsa as well <laughs> salsa or a little bit of barbecue sauce a burden to humanity what do you mean burden to humanity mozzarella sticks are fucking great they're so good. Infinity. So naturally. See, at least when it comes to YouTube live streams. Whoa! I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, at least when, when it comes to YouTube live streams, I can literally run an advert at the start of the stream, and that's it. So when someone tunes in, they get an advert, and that's it. Whereas Twitch, it'd be like adverts every 10 minutes and there's no way you can block it because Twitch has done some magic shit to do that. Who laughs in YouTube premium? Even, even better. <laughs> Oh, 
I believe YouTube re premium revenue is split based on the fact if people how much watch time people are watching for as opposed to um, what's it called like ad slots Bum, 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 bum. Oh, this is a good song. Surface by Aero Chord. Fucking chew. This was um NR12's outro for a while. Back when he actually made pretty good content. I miss the old AR12 because it's, 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 it just doesn't make the same kind of content. He saw the hide and seeks and he had all his gang and everything, just I don't know. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that that is everything for Class C. There we go. Lovely jubbly. I will take that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.